emanating from deep under the earth, spreading across the globe at the speed of thought, changing the world one brain at a time. This is the Final Order Report from Green Brain Comics. Hello and welcome Brainiacs. I am your host, Dan Merritt, Chief Purchasing Officer at Green Brain Comics. Every week we bring you a curated list of comics and graphic novels that will be going to print next week and are scheduled to hit the shelves as soon as four weeks from now. We're here to we're here today to share this info and give you one final chance to subscribe and or special order before Sunday, April 14th at 5 p.m. Green Brain Comics and the Final Order Report are powered by Comic Hub. Check out Comic Hub online at comichub.com. Mobile apps available for Android and iPhone. Start up an account online or sync up to your existing account. Order and pay securely online and make sure you never miss an issue. I will be using Comic Hub today to show you items from this week's last call for confirmed orders. Uh, let me just get back and show you a couple things. Once you sign into Comic Hub, you'll see the following banners, aside items, and shop coming soon. Aside items is everything that is in store for you, waiting for you to pay for and pick up. Shop coming soon. Click through for that, and you see all of the carousels we will be looking at today. Uh, first one on the top there is preview pages. That's PDFs of some of the upcoming books, some of which we may be looking at today. The next carousel down is the last call for final order cutoff carousel right there. Uh, that's the one we will be looking at in just a moment. Then we have next Wednesday's items. That's all the books that we are getting for the shelf on Wednesday, April 17th. And below that, we have uh, event carousels for House of Brainiac, Blood Hunt, Fall of X, which is quickly coming to an end, and the upcoming Thanos uh, Infinity Watch crossover throughout the annuals. So let's uh, scroll back up to last call. Keep in mind these carousels on this view rotate left to right. And once you open up in view all, uh, it scrolls top to bottom. We have filters on the top for publishers category, artists, writers, and alphanumeric listings to get right to where you're interested in looking at. And that's what we're going to be doing today when we look at final order report for younger reader comics and graphic novels. First thing we'll be looking at today is Archie Jumbo Comics Digest. This is number 350, big anniversary, 50th anniversary year for Archie, uh, featuring a fantastic Dan Parent cover. And we also have a Betty and Veronica Friends Forever one shot. This is with the fairy tales theme with uh, a cover by oh, an interior by Ben Galvan. And we have a new issue of Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries with a special guest star of Man Bat. There's nowhere to hide. And then we get a second issue for My Little Pony. Set Your Sails, that new miniseries from IDW writer Megan Brown and artist Amy Meberson. To wrap up this morning's younger readers' picks, we have Summer Vamp. Summer Vamp is from Random House. This is a book for middle grade readers by Violet Chan. Pardon me. By Violet Chan Karim. That will be available on May 14th with a cover price of $13.99. Get your orders in before Sunday at 5. And next up we have a final order report for manga. There's a few things of interest this week. We have a KX Yaku Bound by Law Manga Volume 1 from Kodansha and Yoshi Karuhara. Ninja and Gokudo. 
This is volume one from Shinsuke Kondo and Kadansha Comics. And then we have A Cat for Our World and the Forgotten Witch Manga, Volume 2, from Hiro Kashiwaba and Seven Seas Entertainment. We just got Volume 1 recently, and that's been selling real well, because cats. Next up, we have Final Order Report for Original Graphic Novels. First thing up there from Ten Speed Press. We have Let's Make Bread from uh, one of our favorite creators, Sarah Beacon. And she's joined by author Ken Forkish. All about the accessible and easy-to-read comic book cookbook for baking delicious breads featuring basic universal method guidelines for maintaining a sourdough starter and recipes for classic loaves and funny new riffs from the beloved art author of flour water salt yeast a fun and refreshing addition to every baker's library from 10 speed press let's make bread and from Fanagraphics, we get a whole bunch of stuff on FOC this week from Fanagraphics. Let's kick it off with the Comics Journal Yearbook, The Best of 2023, featuring Dan Klaus, Oliver Schraun, Kyoko Okazaki, and Ralph Griffith? Sure. And this is Comics Journal Yearbook, Best of 2023, available on May 22nd. But you can get your copy set aside for you by ordering through Comic Hub. Also from Fanagraphics, we have Mark Twain's War Prayer. This is from writer uh, artist Seymour Schwast, uh, written in 1910 in his in the. Author's 70th year, Mark Twain has lived through 14 wars waged just by his own country on others, declined to publish his poetic, disparaging, despairing reproof against patriotism. Oh, gosh, this goes on and on. It looks cool as heck. Schwass art echoes advances in technology, but Twain's message about the pointlessness of patriotism as a marketing hook for a death is only more pointed today. From Fanagraphics this, uh, and Mark Twain, this is the war prayer. Also from Fanagraphics, we have Psychodrama Illustrated number 7. This is the new volume from Gilbert Hernandez of the Hernandez Bros., and uh, this one cannot be contained to one comic. This issue, Fritz is DeSald, official sexual partner and caregiver to the king. This is Fritz, her most maddening zenith of sexual manipulation. It's Psychodrama Illustrated number 7 from Fantagraphics. And then we have this very interesting tome, The Lost Worlds of George Metzger was a uh, cartoonist. Let me see. Don't know a whole lot of George, about George Metzger. His comics stand out for their captivating combination of high fantasy and science fiction. His prescient views of climate change and political chicanery, and just when you need it. Explore a feudal landscape and steam-powered vehicles, soar the skies and anachronistic airships, and hitchhike back to nature with the hippies. It's all here in this long-awaited anthology of George Metzger's most iconic and idiosyncratic comics, including two never-seen-before stories rediscovered after missing for decades. It is Lost Worlds of George Metzger from Fantagraphics. And we get a, oh, uh, one more book from Fanagraphics called My Fairy Godfather. Yes, My Fairy Godfather from cartoonist John Sack. This is an original graphic novel set in liberal Kansas. A manager moves in with her gay film geek godfather and his partner who run the Starlight Movie Theater, a safe haven for their eccentricities in artist and artistic yearnings. This is from writer Robert Mailer Anderson and cartoonist John Sack, My Fairy Godfather from Fantagraphics. 
We got one from Humanoids. This is an all new original sequel to uh, Robert Silverberg's Downward to the Earth. This is Belzagor, featuring art by Laura Zuccheri. And finally, closing up my this week's final order for original graphic novels. This is My Body Unspooling from Silver Sprocket and creator Leo Fox. That will be available on May 15th. If you're interested, get that order in by tomorrow, Sunday at 5 p.m. And that wraps up the final order report for tr original graphic novels. Let's move right on over to trade paperbacks. First thing up this week is from Boom Studios. This is the collection of the third and final story in the Abbott trilogy, Abbott 1979, from writer Saladin Ahmed and artist Sammy Cavella, set in the 1980s against the backdrop of the Reagan administration and, of course, the setting of Detroit, which is burdened with oppressive darkness, both political and supernatural. Abbott 1979 available on July 10th Army of Darkness versus Reanimator it's got a new beautiful Stuart Sager cover with interior art by Iman Kaslos and written by Eric Burnham from Dynamite Entertainment over at Dark Horse, we get a new EC Archives, Weird Fantasy, Volume 4, collecting work from Al Feldstein, Jack Kamen, Wally Wood, Joe Kamen, Jack Kamen, Joe Orlando, Al Williamson, and more. <laughs> uh, then we get uh, Sergio Aragones, Louder Than Words, Action Speak. This collects uh, some material from kind of way back. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, this is a mini series from I don't know, probably the uh the teens or the aughts. That's cool. It'll be nice to have it back in stock. Ooh, it's fifty bucks. It's a big giant old thing for three twenty uh three hundred and twenty pages. <laughs> Sergio Aragonis. <laughs> Louder than words, action speak. And also from Dark Horse, we get Space Usagi, Death and Honor, collecting that recent three-issue miniseries. Uh, also including the Space Usagi Yokai Hunter one-shot. From DC Comics, we get a collection of Penguin from Tom King and Stefano Gaudino. And... Back to EC, but over to IDW. This is an Artisan Edition hardcover collection of the EC covers. That's pretty cool. This has got classic cover reproductions at uh, close to original scale. We've got some Frank Frazetta in there. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Some Wally Wood. All classic covers for EC Comics. IDW publishing 160 pages in this EC co Covers Artisan Edition hardcover. An image comes out with a collection of Blood Commandment from Simon Kodransky. Blood Strike from Rob Liefeld. Uh, collecting 160 pages for $12.99. That's a heck of a good deal right there. Also featuring guest stars Brigade and Blood Wolf. Blood Wolf? We get a collection of deep cuts from writer Joe Clark, Kyle Higgins, artist Ramon K. Perez, and a host of other creators that did uh, single-issue stories in this mini-series called Deep Cuts. Edenwood Volume 1 from Tony S. Daniels, also from Image Comics. And a Haunted Girl from Ethan Sachs and Marco Lorenzo Lorenzano with a cover by Joe Quesada. Interesting. And over at Marvel we have the Captain Marvel by Margaret Stoll Collection. Uh, this 
collects uh, the writer's entire run uh, through a couple different volumes and one-shots, all uh, counting uh, 488 pages for 45 bucks. Dark X-Men Mercy Crown, uh, collecting that recent miniseries from Steve Fox and Jonas Scharf. Defenders Epic Collection Volume 2, uh, Enter the Headmen. This is silly fun comics from Len Wein and Steve Gerber with art by Sal Buscema, who also did this cover. Ooh, we get a modern era epic collection of the new X-Men. E is for Extinction. This collects the first, uh, wow, over a year of new X-Men by Grant Morrison with art by Frank Quietly, probably a few others. Let's see if we got it on the cover there. Uh, got some Lionel Francis U, Ethan Van Skyver, Igor Cordy, Tom Derenick all rounding out the talent on the new X-Men Modern Era Volume 1. E is for Extinction. We have NYX, a gallery edition hardcover. Very interesting. Uh, that means it's going to be a little bit uh, larger scale and also pretty significant... Uh, page count, 392 pages, collecting two different miniseries from Marvel Comics. Then we have Sins of Sinister, collecting a whole bunch of miniseries from that uh, crossover event called with, this, uh, with the same name, Sins of Sinister. This uh, is 344 pages for 50 bucks. And that's enough for original, or, uh, sorry, trade paperbacks. Uh, let's slide right on over to new printings. First up, we have a facsimile from DC Comics, Our Army at War, number 81, featuring the first appearance, maybe, of Sergeant Rock. This full facsimile edition also features the three other explosive battle action stories from legendary DC war artist Joe Kubert, Russ Heath, and many more. Our Army at War also comes with a foil cover, I think. Yeah, maybe. Uh, then over at Image, we get... Uh, so this doesn't call it a... A new printing, but this is basically a, a special new printing of Energon Universe Free Comic Book Day 2024 special. This features three all-new stories from the Energon Universe with stunning revelations for the worlds of Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Void Rival. So in other words, this is a full retail version of the book that I will be giving hundreds away on Free Comic Book Day. Uh, but you can get yours without a sticker on it for $3.99. Uh, it also comes with this Daniel Warren Johnson cover, a B cover from Lorenzo Di Felici, and yeah, then we get a second printing of Geiger number one. Uh, all of the uh, Ghost Machine debuts have sold out at distributor level, so we'll also be getting a second printing of. Red Coat, and a second printing of Rook Exodus from Ghost Machine creator Jeff Johns and Jason Fabic. Congrats on them for a successful launch. Then we have a facsimile reprinting of Avengers Annual Number 10, featuring the first appearance of... Uh, Rogue, also a, uh, a whole bunch of shocking revelations and mystery guests. Uh, this is re represented in its original form, ads and all, from Marvel Comics Avengers Annual 10. Also comes with a foil variant that will be priced, um, let me see, that will probably be priced at Twelve dollars. Uh, please inquire. Please inquire. 
Okay, next up we have a second print for Deadpool number one, a successful launch from writer Cody Sigler and artist Roger Antonio with this new cover by Chris Campagna. That does it for new printings. Let's slide right let's slide right on over to second issues. Oh, here we have a second issue of a brand new uh, a series that just debuted recently, uh, Red Sonia Empire of the Damned, written by Steve Niles with interior art by Alessandro Amoruso. This beautiful cover on the A variant is from Joshua Middleton. Very nice. Geiger comes back with a second issue from Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Over at Magma, we get a second issue of The Principles of Necromancy. This book debuted a few weeks ago from Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly with art by Eamon Winkle, and it is gross. So gross, so cool, lots of fun violence and weird-looking monsters. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess I wanted to show you the cover again. Then we get a second issue of Blood Hunt. Uh, we're still a few weeks away from getting number one. Uh, this new series is, of course, uh, following the vampires taking over the world and crossing over into virtually every corner of the Marvel Universe with art by Pepe Larraz, written by Jed McKay. Uh, it also comes in a red band version. This entire series will come out in a second version called the Red Band, which will include and uh, unlock, let me see, just extra gross stuff, mm, extra violence, cool stuff, good idea from Marvel Comics. Make them violent comics. And let's slide right on over to first issues. Wrap this puppy up. Uh, from Ahoy Comics, we have the first issue of a five-issue miniseries called My Bad, Escape from Peculiar Island, written by Mark Russell, uh, featuring art by Peter Krauss, who did this cover. Also a backup story by Bryce Ingman. XO Man of War is back with Invictus, a new four-issue miniseries, written by Becky Cloonan, with art by Fernando Hines on this German Peralta cover. And this Toby Wilsmer cover. Boom Studios resurrects Amory Wars for a new 12-issue series, No World for Tomorrow, written by rock star Claudio Sanchez from Coheed and Cambria, uh, featuring art by Guillaume Martinez, and this cover by Gianluca Gugliotta. Gugliot Gugliotta. Amory Wars, No World for Tomorrow. Also get, has this B cover by Jonathan Wasik. Boom Studios also debuts a new series called Crocodile Black. This first issue has a beautiful cover by Andrea Sorrentino, is written by Philip Kennedy Johnson, and has interior art by Somneth Pal. Crocodile Black. Cool crime, psychological thriller. Then Dark Horse Comics debuts this new series from Landry Q. Walker and artist Justin Greenwood. Called The Butcher's Boy. Deep within the back roads of the Pacific Northwest, an entire town fell victim to the brutal cleaver of the Butcher of La Perdita. But that has more. That was more than a hundred years ago, and in that time, the generational nightmare of murder and meat has been reduced to morbid clickbait folklore for bored travelers to share online. From Landry Q. Walker and Justin Greenwood, it's the Butcher's Boy. Uh, Image also debuts this new series from. Writer Scotty Young with art by Jorge Corona. It's Ain't No Grave. This miniseries premiere uh, from the same team that brought you the hit series Middle West and 
the me you love in the dark are back together with an all new mini series ain't no grave this uni- this unforgiven style journey is the original macabre western fantasy tale for mature readers told through a guillermo del toro esque lens <laughs> yes And then we have a new series from Mad Cave Studios called Ain't No Grave from writer Ray Fox and writer uh, artist Antonio Fuso. We got this Dan Panogian cover on this very cool looking book set in Leningrad, 1987, when a woman's corpse is discovered on New Year's Day. A hungover Detective Pavel Smirnov hands off the case to his partner, Detective Boris Dmitrovich hoping he'll close it without fuss. Instead, Dmitrovich Dmitrovich uncovers a connection to an old unsolved crime, dragging them both into an investigation that puts their their lives, their, their careers, and possibly their lives at risk. From Mad Cave Studios, Ray Fox, Antonio Fuso. Sanction number one has the Stan Panosian cover and a B cover by Ray Fox. Over at DC, we get one new series debut on FOC this week, and it is The Boy Wonder, a new black label series from writer artist Junie Ba. The young Prince Damien Wayne was raised to be the heir to the fearsome League of Assassins to follow in the footsteps of his deadly mother, Talia, and the demon's head himself, Raish al Ghul. But everything changed when his father, the Batman, reclaimed him and brought him back to Gotham City. Uh, It also features this B cover by Cliff Chang. That is beautiful. This new series, The Boy Wonder, from uh, Eisner Award winning creator Junie Ba will debut on a date. Where is that date? May 7th from DC Entertainment in the black label format for a cover price $5.99. Oh, it's a beauty. The Boy Wonder number one. And to close up shop here, we got a couple new series debuting from Marvel Comics. You can get your copies reserved today. It's Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt. This is possibly a one-shot. We don't have many series information. Uh, this spins directly out of Amazing Spider-Man 49. Spidey's role in Blood Hunt becomes clear, and it involves, of course, Morbius. That's right, the Web Slinger's main vampiric villain, Michael Morbius, is involved in the big vampire play. That's right. And Peter P- and Peter Parker has to figure out if he needs to take his fanged foe out or save him. From writer Justina Ireland... Featuring interior artwork by Marcello Ferreira, who also does this A cover. We have a B in a blood red cover variant and a Jose Maria Casanovas variant that is pretty cool. Wow. This is Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt number one. Available on May 15th with a cover price of $4.99. We get a new Doom series, this one written by Jonathan Hickman, with art in this cover by Samford Green. In the near future, Doom alone must save the Marvel Universe. Uh, Jonathan Hickman and Samford Green send Doctor Doom on a journey unlike any he has undertaken before. With Valeria Richards at his side... Doom goes on a quest to harness more power than any human has ever wielded before in order to try to stop Galactus from bringing about the death of the universe. From Jonathan Hickman, Samford Green, and Marvel Comics, we get Doom number one available on May 15th. We got this B cover from Adi Granoff. That is outstanding. A George Perez variant. 
and a Greg and Tim Hildebrandt from the Marvel Masterpieces 3 card set variant. It's all dressing up Doom number one. If you're interested in any of these variants, get your orders in before tomorrow, Sunday at 5 p.m. And to wrap up and cap off this final order report in hellish style, we have Helverine, a new mini series featuring the ride to hell and back in Helverine's first ever solo series because you demanded it. The return of the Helverine, when a demonic force known as Bagra Ghoul first came to Earth, it brought Logan and Ghost Rider together to hunt it before it possessed Wolverine. But now, in the present day, what event will put the Helverine back on the streets? And is he slashing his Hellfire claws for good or evil? And introducing the all-new Hellfire Warriors. <laughs> Don't miss the launch of an all-new series brought to you by Helverine co-creator Benjamin Percy and Blazing Hot talent julius ota on art we got this ryan stegman cover on a uh the joshua kassara spoiler variant a kevin eastman cover this is very cool for all you turtles fans out there kevin eastman health the helverine variant uh we got a mark texiera variant that's cool that he's working again and this Martin Cocolo cover uh, is a foil variant. Uh, please inquire for that price. And finally, we have the absolutely fiery fun of Scotty Young on this Helverine variant wrapping up the final order report. <laughs> Can't even remember the name of my own show. Yeah, here we go. Uh, now let's slide on over to upcoming report, <laughs> upcoming events. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank you for watching a Final Order Report. Uh, we'll be back next weekend, maybe, uh, with Free Comic Book Day heading down the track real soon. I'm, uh, hmm, maybe I can do that. I'll do that and then that. Yeah. Final order report. We'll be back next week to show you something about uh, the stuff on final order uh, for next Sunday. Hope you can join us back here. Then uh, on Monday, we welcome back Brain Candy for episode 55 of this free live program of prose music, poetry, and visual art on Monday, April 15th at 7 p.m. from the Emerging Writers Network and Green Brain Comics. We are welcoming the visual art of Julie K. Fournier, the prose of Steve Amick, the poetry of Mark James Andrews, and music from Brian Ryborn all this Monday, April 15th. Free from the Emerging Writers Network and Green Brain Comics. Uh, then join us back here on Tuesday for our next live review of New Comic Book Day. It's Brain Scan. We'll be streaming live on YouTube, 6.30 on Tuesday. Oh, it's a fat-packed month for, for for Green Brain Comics. We will be at the Redford Theater on Monday, April 22nd for a special viewing of Spider-Man 2, the classic Sam Raimi film. Uh, we will be in the lobby before the film talking about uh, showing off uh, some samples of our books. And then we will be, I will be joining uh, podcaster Mike White on stage directly after the movie for a live recording of the broadcast booth, a fantastic podcast about movies and the movie culture. Uh, that's 
Monday, April 22nd at the Redford Theater. Redfordtheater.com for more information. And then the big one, folks. Join us on Saturday, May 4th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for Free Comic Book Day. Uh, This is coinciding with the magical date of May the 4th. So we will be celebrating Star Wars Day on Free Comic Book Day with an extra free comic, with a Star Wars free comic. We'll have all kinds of free comics. Uh, Just for stopping by, you'll get your choice of three comics from our Free Comic Book Day selection. Uh, We'll also be hosting several guests under the big tent out behind the store. And we will also welcome uh, Fire Chief Joseph Murray to be the Free Comic Book Day officiant and declare Free Comic Book Day in Dearborn on Saturday, May 4th. Yeah. And that wraps up. That It wraps it up. We're wrapped up, folks. Thank you so much for watching Final Order Report. Uh, remember, the deadline for Final Order Report is Sunday, April 14th at 5 p.m. Please remember to confirm the orders in your cart. Yes. Uh, let me get rid of that. Mm-mm-mm. There we go. Thanks for joining me for Final Order Report. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We are Green Brain CMX. All, no, on on Twitter we are, Twitter X, we are at Green Brain CMX. All the links to our shopping cart website and Comic Hub are below in the description. We are spreading love of comic books and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, folks. Get your orders in. We'll see you real soon. Oh, it's going to be a busy week. Emanating from deep under the earth. Spreading across the globe at the speed of thought. Changing the world one brain at a time. This is the Final Order Report from Green Brain Comics.